Geysers. Today we're going to talk about geysers. How do they work and what do they need to work? They need precipitation, lava, and reservoirs, and magma, and a crack, and a thin lock, and a thing, and a thin rock. Where can we find them? We can find them in Russia, in the United States, Iceland, and uh, Chile, and New Zealand. Did you know that geysers explode every one and a half an hour? Some kinds of them. But the others, no, they need a long time. The water is too hot, so that's why it boils up and it explodes. Now, we have a sculpture of a geyser. This is how it works. So, as you can see, there is, like, let's imagine a volcano besides it. So, the, the magma will get underground. When it gets underground, the, the, the water will boil in, inside the reservoir, which is under the geyser. So it can then handle the boiling, so it will explode. So it needs a thin crack to go all over and move in it, and then crack, and then it will have an explosion, just like this one. Thank you. Eyes. The eye is a very important organ. It helps us to see and sometimes feel through seeing. Seeing. When you see something dramatic, you get highly, maybe sometimes you even cry. This is a blind eye and this is a diseased eye. We have a lot of people who are blind because sometimes the optic nerves have, is damaged and they cannot see. Eye colors. We have a lot of eye colors. The most common ones are Chestnut and hazel and gray-brown and these are the most common ones. The rare ones are deep blue, light blue, and gray-blue-green. These are the parts. These are iris, pupil, cornea, lens, musk muscles, and vertus, and optic nerve, and the macula, and the retina. Questions. Give me one of the, one of eye colors that you know. Life. Hazel. Another one from. Hmm. Tiziano. Light blue. 